Hey, what's up, guys? So, up next, we're going to do the Walking Dead pitch meeting. Now, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before, so this is going to be a review. So you have a TV show idea for me. Yes, sir, I do. It's all about a group of people that have to deal with walkers. Oh, my grandma has to deal with a walker in her old folks' home. She hates it. <laughs> no, not that kind of walkers. Walkers in this show are like dead people. Why would an old folks' home use dead people as walkers? That's kind of messed up. Uh, this pitch is off to a horrible start. No, see, it's like a zombie apocalypse show, but the people call the zombies walkers. Oh, yeah, that's a much better idea. Let's go with that angle. Yeah, let's. So what's the show about? Well, it's based on a graphic novel series, and it starts with a guy waking up in bed in a hospital only to find that it's the zombie apocalypse. Sounds a lot like the beginning of 28 Days Later. No, it's different because that was in London and this is in the States. Oh, those are different <laughs> countries. Okay, carry on. So then Rick's gonna make friends with some new people and they're gonna cover themselves in walker guts. Why do they do that? Because when they have walker guts on them, the walkers can't detect them. Oh, so I imagine they'll be using that strategy throughout the show. They'll practically never do it again. Oh, really? Yeah, they're mostly gonna forget about it. So then Rick is gonna be reunited with his uh, they do it a few times, and th later on, they explain exactly why they don't do it very much, and that is because, uh, Father Gabriel had a really bad reaction to it, and actually lost sight in one of his eyes, so, that's why. Plus, you know, even if it wasn't for that, it's, uh, you just got to imagine that would be a horrific experience. All right. His wife Lori and his son. What's his son's name? Carl. Oh, Coral. That's a cool name. No, it's Carl. Coral, right. Huh? It sounds like you're saying Coral, but his name's actually Carl. Yeah, I think we're saying the same thing. His name's Coral. Oh, uh, you're definitely saying it weird, but as long as the actor you cast to play his dad can say it properly, I think we're good. I'll make sure of it personally. Well, okay then. So what happens in the show? Y'all, that right there, the way he kept saying Coral. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> Uh, y'all, uh, yeah. <laughs> A lot more farming than you'd expect. Oh, post-apocalyptic agriculture is tight. Oh yeah, actually the entire oh, yeah. second season's gonna take place on a farm. Oh, uh, that's what I'm talking about. And in one episode, they're gonna have to get a walker out of a well. Oh, well maintenance too? This show has everything. Yeah, so basically over the course of the show, the survivors are gonna find a safe location, stuff's gonna go bad, half of them are gonna die, and then they're gonna have to find a new location and repeat. Is that kind of repetitive formula gonna get old? Well, we're gonna mix up the threats a little bit. Oh yeah? Yeah, like for a couple of seasons, they're gonna go up against a guy who's like a post-apocalyptic dictator. Okay. And for a couple of seasons, they're gonna go up against a guy who's like a post-apocalyptic dictator. Yeah, you just said that. No, different guys, different seasons. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. So how many seasons were you thinking? Uh, well, how many numbers are there? How many numbers are there? I guess, I guess there are infinite numbers. Well, okay, great. Let's go with that then. Infinite seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems like it's gonna be hard to keep people watching for so many seasons. Actually, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, uh, this one didn't age that well, did it? Because we are now in the last season. And uh, really, I got to get caught up on it. You know, I've not been watching it because, you know, I'm waiting until I start doing my reactions to it again. So I'm getting really behind. <laughs> you know, and frankly, you know, since I do uh, so much other content, trying to add in uh, whole TV shows to it is kind of quite a bit. So, you know, at this point, I don't even know if I'm going to keep doing TV shows like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Should I keep doing The Walking Dead or, uh, you know, or other shows like that? I don't know. Maybe we will. Y'all let me know what y'all think.
Really? Yeah, what we're gonna do is base entire seasons around one or two big events and cliffhangers. What do you mean? Yeah, we'll have something big start to go down in the mid-season finales and the season finales, and then people will have to wait a couple of months to see what happens. Uh, super frustrating. Right? But aren't people gonna catch on to that? They will, but at a certain point, I think the sunk cost fallacy is gonna kick in. The sunk cost fallacy? Oh yeah, it's this thing I read about. See, the more time people invest in something, the harder time they have quitting that thing. Uh, so even if people don't like the show anymore, they have to keep watching because they've invested so much time that they have to see how it ends. Exactly. So what's gonna happen in the episodes that aren't mid-season finales or finales? Not much. Hey, I've been there quite a few times. Start watching a movie and then like just a few minutes later I'm like, well this is total garbage. But then I'm like yeah, I still want to see how it ends though. <laughs> uh yeah, it happens. Oh, really? Yeah, it's gonna be like a bunch of soap opera bottle episodes that don't advance the plot in any way. Oh, spreading it super thin. I love it. Yeah, and also characters are gonna give super long speeches pretty much every episode. What kinds of stuff are they gonna give speeches about? Just the same kinds of things over and over, like this is how things are now, or this isn't who we are, or this is who we are now. Very repetitive. So what's the end game for these characters? End game? Like, what are they working towards? Not dying, I guess? I don't know. There's nothing to look forward to for the audience? Not really. Sounds pretty bleak. I imagine you'll have some fun moments sprinkled in there to keep things interesting, though. No. Oh, really? Yeah, no, the show's gonna take itself super seriously. Uh, it doesn't sound very fun. Um. <clears throat> no, there is a lot of, you know, really, I'm gonna say badass moments in there. You know what I'm saying? A lot to watch. Oh, it won't be. But people will watch it anyway. They will because sometimes we'll randomly kill off important characters. Oh, I guess that'll keep things spicy. Yeah, we're gonna run through a lot of important characters. Do you think that kind of stunt will have diminishing emotional returns each time we do it? I don't know. Fair enough. Yeah. And I guess as long as we don't lose the main protagonist, the audience will still have somebody to root for. Very true. Oh man, y'all. That one right there, that's what got me. Really? I'm gonna say he is one of the best characters that they've had on that show. And they know it. Most of the audience knows it. Uh, I don't know what he's doing these days. But I would say, you know... I definitely want to see him do more, uh, you know, major roles like this. I think that would be really good. All right. I will see y'all in the next video. Till then, I'm out.